me tell you something, buddy. It's the last bastion for a true sportsman. But if you're a sportsman at heart, there isn't a better place on earth. To Dino Messina and the other hardcore regulars at Aqueduct Racetrack in Queens, there's nothing like this old forlorn place. What are you gonna you gonna go to you gonna go to Yankee Stadium and spend six hundred dollars for a ticket? Well they crazy. That's, you know, New York gambler is known to be the best horse gambler in the world. Like every other better here, Dino has his own way of picking a winner. That horse is ready, they're gonna they, you know he's gonna run. Now where he's gonna come we don't know, but he's gonna run. And his own take on Aqueduct's destiny. It's very political. What they're doing is they're stalling. They've been stalling for years. They want to make it a casino. They want to wait for the right time. And with economics being what they are now, it's not quite the right time. So they keep playing with this place. The track, which just saw its last week of racing till it resumes in the fall, has become all but forgotten but to a dwindling number of hardcore horse players. Well, there's nothing like coming out to the track. You know what I'm saying? Especially when it's nice weather, you come out to the track, you know, you have a couple beers, you, you see people, you talk to people, you see the actual horsemen down there, trainers and stuff. The, the, the live action, the actual flesh of the horse, seeing it. The camera's like sitting at home watching TV. But it used to be a hell of a lot more guys out here. Before Aqueduct, all oh, this would be open upstairs. Aqueduct once fit 90,000 people, but the crowds are gone. In recent months, it attracted attention as a political football because of controversy that further delayed a long-standing plan to revitalize the place with video lottery terminals. Now, for yet another year, Aqueduct will remain neglected in the domain of these devoted horse players, many of them old-timers that seem like they're from a New York that no longer exists. This is uh, strictly, strictly dollars and cents, and there's no comforts here. They don't do much to... Uh, you know, to accommodate your, your, your customer. And it's, it's just run down. If you get a winner, they disqualify him. No matter what happens, you're out. You, you can't beat the game. Just come to waste time. I know a gal that comes here, and she plays her a, a son's birthday. Mm -hmm. And she wins all the time. A lot of times I don't gamble, just come for the day to a... Uh, to talk to my friends and to give them advice what horse not to play and what horse to play. I never go to OTB because that's not what he actually is. I like live action. I like to see the horses, uh, uh, the air come out of the nose. I like to hear the sounds of the horse and the people. And I like being friendly with people.